Welcome to the awesome stage known as Stardust Speedway. It's quite potentially the fastest stage in the game. There's loop-to-loops, all kinds of ways to go. You go super fast in this stage. There's also quite a few places that can trick you because you go around in circles forever, but generally going to the right just, oh man. When you're not looking for time stone or rings or time stone stuff or, you know, time, you can just have fun. And, oh, these springs, the boingy back and forth ones. But yeah, this is usually cited as m many a person's favorite Sonic CD stage. Because it kind of drops the exploration, even though there's quite a bit of a stage to explore. But yeah, that was the first act. <laughs> Not, we're barely a minute in, and we're already a third of the way of, with, done with the video. Stardust Speedway 2 is the area where you might get confused and bounce around a lot because there are some areas where you have to like maneuver yourself. Like you actually have to force your way against a tunnel to go through that particular tunnel. You'll see what I mean down the road. There's some goodies strewn about in the beginning of the stage so be sure to pick those up. You want to be extra careful. It's very easy to time travel here. I'm actually amazed that, you know, I didn't. But then again, I stalled, <laughs> like there. Stardust Speedway is also a contender for a lot of people's favorite musical track in Sonic CD, be it Japanese or American. I hear a lot of praise for both versions whenever I ask people about the soundtrack and their preferences. Now me, I'm a Tidal Tempest guy, but yeah, that's mostly Japanese Tidal Tempest if anyone likes that one. Although the American one does sound like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's theme. Let's see, this one you have to fight against, you know, the tunnels and go where you need to go. Whee! Isn't that fun? I know a friend of mine got really confused in this segment because there's a lot of stuff going on and to pay attention to, but um, if you just keep going the way I showed you, you're fine. Now prepare for probably the most iconic boss of the game. And no matter what, it's going to be... Oh wait, it is a good future. Never mind. Bad future is probably the best tone for this boss fight, though. If you do that, you can jump up and grab all your goodies. Just do a good super peel-out jump. Alright, here we have the race with Metal Sonic. This is strewn with obstacles. This is also not my best run of it. You're supposed to try to keep ahead. You, you have to do good jumps. There's um, a higher like road that if you remember it exists and can get up to it, past that spike pit that I just, you know, stalled on, you can actually outpace Metal Sonic really easily. If you are ahead of him, he will do this dash. He breaks through spikes he walks through, so... Don't have to worry about that, but when you are behind him, he'll do this shockwave thing, which was also in Sonic Adventure 2 multiplayer. Generally, this race is very, very hard. <laughs> Especially on your first try. The, the key trick is to just avoid him whenever he goes into his super modes, or, you know... Yeah, he does anything. And Eggman is also chasing you with a death laser. If you go too slow, you will lose. But that was the race, and we saved Amy. And she gives us a nice little hug. So that was Stardust Speedway. I hope you join me for the finale of Sonic CD at Metallic Madness. Till then.